Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. Good morning. I'm still having my Death Wish Espresso coffee. Mmm. Best coffee ever. And you know what that goes with? It goes with a good breakfast. So what am I making today? I am making the Swan's Potato Wedges. This is what I have left. So I'm going to incorporate that with some farm fresh egg, some Tillamook pepper jack. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is the farm fresh eggs. Farmers around here, we use the cartons. Um, and maybe I might add a dab of Stubbs liquid smoke. This stuff is fabulous. Use it on meat. Um, use it on your vegetables. If you put meat in with your breakfast, which is great because it's a high protein. And sometimes, even though I know I have pepper jack, sometimes I actually add in extra spicy because this is great for stimulating your immune system, your joint health, and just getting your body to be more energetic so anyway let's get into this okay so i have pre-sprayed the pan now eventually i will probably just end up using butter because cooking spray you know so as i said crunchy potato wedges and on the back of it right here it shows you the instruction now this goes in the conventional oven which is the bake on the air fryer for 10 minutes turn them over and then put them in for another 10 to 12. so the first thing we're going to do is these oh there's a good abundance of these in here i didn't think there would be but now swans they always have surprises like you might be like oh the bag is only half full or it's partially full but you saw that this partially full bag turned out to be that that's wonderful isn't it so sometimes i will arrange them you don't necessarily have to just if they come out good enough you can just put them in but i try to lay them as flat as possible like so so that way we can just come over here bring it over here because this is light this is very light so we don't have to worry about the weight on that there's something next month i want to do in the kitchen for this like maybe take this out of here and put something else in but okay we'll close the door hey this thing gets loved look at the door <laughs> let me come over here adjust that to now normally i would put this on 400 but i'm going to follow that instruction. I also hope me using the Deco Chef helps you to realize how easy that is. So we're going to wait for this and then we'll be back. Cause yum. Okay. So I just pulled these and yeah, I know I need new ones for the, these. Um, this is what they look like coming out. They're not exactly, I mean, they're a firm potato, don't get me wrong, but I want that crispy on both sides. Like these thinner ones right here, these get crispier faster. That might be my appetizer. Mmm. So delicious. So watch how you're turning them over and we'll come back and do the rest of this. My initial thought was if I didn't have enough, I would crisp them and then break them up and put them in with the rest of what I'm making. 
Now what I can do, because the egg is going in there and the cheese, is I can pull these, put them on the top of the egg with the cheese. Hear me out on this because it's fabulous. And let all that melt and, and let that flavor just come together like that. So anyway, I'm going to finish flipping these over and we will be back. Okay, this time over here, there's a setting on here for fries. Right here, that's what that is. Now, normally when you turn this on, it says 450 for 15. So we'll finish those potato wedges up on the fry setting. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, I put a little bit of the stubs liquid smoke in with the eggs. There's only five eggs in here. This sixth egg I was going to crack, but I realized that it might be hatchable. Some of these eggs are hatchable. Oh my gosh, there's a raven out here. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Ravens are a good sign. Don't take ravens as a bad sign or crows. Other than that, they have other purposes. They're guardians, if you don't know that. So anyway, when we come back, this has five minutes over here at the air fryer. Um, so yeah, five minutes, which will be like a whole second or two to you. <laughs> okay, so I took these out just now, obviously. <laughs> Look at the crunchy on that. I mean, you just can't get no better than that for the country today. And it's about that easy. Now that we have this, we'll put this over here. Yeah, we'll put this over here. I almost thought about just sitting in here, but I'm like thinking, no, that might not be such a good idea. So now it comes down to doing the eggs. If you ever notice that I don't put milk in. Now, dairy does actually help to fluff this. And now we just take this, pour this out into the pan. And this will be the next step to this. You know, also try to make sure that those egg yolks aren't trying to yolk you over. That ain't no kind of yolk. Make it work. <laughs> so now my next step to this is to add this as I shall go get a fork because I should grab two. And do I put them in as is? Yes, I do. On most mornings, I will just put them in as is. Now, I also buy jalapenos because sometimes your girl loves good jalapeno. I did wash the counter. I have OCD. If if it is not clean, if I like see a house that does not have a clean kitchen, I want to clean their kitchen. I'm not going to joke about that. I'm going to go over there. We go. That one kind of has an alien face. <laughs> and I love the seed on this. Ooh, I guess that this is the last of them. Might as well get the rest. Rest are tinier pieces. So as soon as we scoop all this out and get it all around. Sometimes save your uh, juices from this. I guess we missed one. There we go. Save your juices from this because you might want to learn that you can take other things like onion. You can make a spicy pickle. As long as you have the right cucumbers for that. You have to use a pickling cucumber to be specific. Now, why am I not adding extra stuff to this? Well, because we're going to have enough flavor right here as it is. And we do have the liquid smoke. I'm going to save that. So what we do on this part is we go ahead. And of course, this should be cooled down enough. 
we're just going to go ahead now I would normally like cover some egg dishes this one I am not steam eggs steam your eggs if you feel like I'll tell you what though air frying and steaming trust me air frying and steaming you can actually leave it on that setting in which that's actually what we're gonna do trust me this actually brings it up to a good temperature the kitchen is already hot it's already hot in here <laughs> because we got great food going anyway um we'll be back when these are fluffy looks like that's already gonna happen Oh my gosh, I have something to show you before I take it out. Look at that. It's already done, and that was less than 15 minutes. Like I said, air frying your food. It's healthy, and you can make healthy and delicious foods. Ooh, there it is out of the oven. Yes, I know it looks flat. But you know what's next with this? The fact that... I, even I thought it was stuck. This is not stuck. So, our next step is to take some of this Pulama. You've got to love this brand. I don't know who you are if you don't love Tillema. <laughs> Seriously. Um, now, we can just do it like this which we might just go ahead and do that. So I'm glad that Tillamook has the little uh, squares in between because what you can do is you can take the edge of that like you just saw me do there and just do that. Now you don't need a whole lot of cheese over this. And then we're going to put these over because that's going to stick with that cheese which is going to be fabulous. And then, of course, layer two more. There's plenty here. I have to say that when I do buy this, I, would, I get excited because I go and look for the different one. So we'll put that there. Now we're just going to put this back in for probably five minutes because we have the cheese the eggs is already done and um yeah the eggs are already done so let's go ahead and put that back in there and um i'll show you what i'll put it on as per usual we are going to Go ahead, and I know you're going to think this is weird. I'm going to put that on the pizza setting. Seven minutes, but we are. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that on 450. 425 and 450 seems to be a good number today. So when that is done melting, we will go to the table. Well, we'll go to the table after I pull this out and show you how schmelty it is. <laughs> that, that's the thing with that. Oh, look at that. That's already melting. Look at that melt. Yes. Okay, so that actually took less than um, the time for the pizza setting. The cheese has melted. Am I weirded out by the square no because that's where you cut that in half and I don't even think you need a knife to cut that in half because that looks really tasty so I'm going to cut this in half put part on my plate which you know has the crumbs from that that's extra flavor by the way for me that's extra flavor don't waste a plate you put your crispy already cooked on there it's okay don't be ashamed so I am going to plate this in uh, this time I will meet you at the table so now that we are here at the table with this loveliness I mean look at that and these potatoes 
I know you can hear that crunch. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Tillamook cheese can be bought at some grocery stores. Not every grocery store has it. Um, Trader Joe's. Some of the Acme markets. Mm hmm. And a variety of other stores. Um, Deathwish Coffee, you can buy it online. Like I said, you can get that in a subscription and set it for how many, you know, the duration of months that you actually want to have it sent. Now, I have mine sent every three months, which is perfect because six pounds of coffee lasts three months for us. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I said six pounds of coffee and it's beans. Now you can order that either bean or pre-ground. Um, and it's great with everything. Mm. And I use the Coffee Mate um, Italian sweet cream. The Tillamook cheese. We've got the Farm Fresh Egg. Oh, that's so good with that. Mm, let me get a bite of that with this. That, that, oh, look at that. I remember there's that potato sitting right in there. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Let me know, would you try this? Mmm. This is fabulous. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to finish that one. I'm taking another bite because, and with those peppers, the peppers bring a lovely flavor. To everything else that's already here <laughs> and remember potato is a plant so if you want to say this is a plant-based meal you can um, is it a protein meal absolutely um, don't forget that cows eat plants so that might be plant-based chickens they peck at the ground that could be plant-based <laughs> But altogether, I have to say, <laughs> that is fabulous. So anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Mm. I'm going to eat the rest of this because it's breakfast, it's fabulous. And you can actually eat this at any time of the day. So remember... Check out Swan's Home Delivery. And you can also check out Tillamook Cheese Company. Um, they deliver as well. They will actually ship cheese boxes to you. If you didn't know this, um, they can do that. You, you just have to order an amount to get that. This is the same thing with Swan's. If you live in an area where Swan's isn't, you can order online and it has to be up to a certain percentage to get it shipped directly to your door. Don't forget that. Oh my goodness. I will see you later because I have a video to go pre-record later um, for a, a collaboration. And um, I'll see you then. And let me know in the comments below if you would try this recipe.